January 7th. Intimate with Jesus. Have I been so long with you, and yet hast thou not known me? John 14, 9. These words are not spoken as a rebuke, nor even with surprise. Jesus is leading Philip on. The last one with whom we get intimate is Jesus. Before Pentecost, the disciples knew Jesus as the one who gave them power to conquer demons and to bring about a revival. See Luke 10, 18 through 20. It was a wonderful intimacy, but there was a much closer intimacy to come. I have called you friends. Friendship is rare on earth. It means identity in thought and heart and spirit. The whole discipline of life is to enable us to enter into this closest relationship with Jesus Christ. We receive his blessings and know his word, but do we know him? Jesus said, It is expedient for you that I go away, in that relationship, so that he might lead them on. It is a joy to Jesus when a disciple takes time to step more intimately with him. Fruit-bearing is always mentioned as the manifestation of an intimate union with Jesus Christ. John 15, 1-4 when once we get intimate with Jesus, we are never lonely. We never need sympathy. We can pour out all the time without being pathetic. The saint who is intimate with Jesus will never leave impressions of himself, but only the impression that Jesus is having unhindered way, because the last abyss of his nature has been satisfied by Jesus. The only impression left by such a life is that of the strong, calm sanity that our Lord gives to those who are intimate with him.